Hey guys, here's this week's quick tip for luthiers. Whenever I talk about spraying clear coat finishes on a guitar, a question that always seems to pop up is, is it necessary to sand between coats? And the quick answer to that is yes, you do. Especially if you're using a water-based type finish, uh, whether it's an acrylic or a polyurethane. And the reason is, those type of finishes, each coat lays down on top of the previous coat. They don't blend in. When you're using a product like nitrocellulose lacquer, the acetone that's in the lacquer will melt the previous coat. So the, the coats will melt in together and form one homogeneous coating. Whereas with polyurethanes, the water-based polyurethanes like I'm using on this guitar, each coat is sitting on top of the other coat and that's how they dry. So then later on, when I level sand, polish, and then buff it, I can, um, encounter a, um, an issue known as witness lines. And witness lines are just rough edges where you've sanded um, the very top coat and down uh, low enough to where you're exposing some of the coats beneath it. And you just get that rough, um, it's kind of like a spider web type effect. And that's, you know, it's, it's only noticeable in the right kind of light, but it, it is definitely something that you want to try to avoid. And sanding between coats will help those two coats blend in a little bit better. Uh, another thing that also helps is to spray a coat, wait 30 minutes, do a quick um, scuff sanding with uh, roughly a 220 grit sandpaper, 220 to 320 grit, then spray your next coat. And those, uh, by waiting only 30 minutes, what happens is as is, is you spray that next wet coat down, it will reactivate um, the, the coat that you just put down and the two will blend in a little bit better. But you have to be really careful doing this. You don't want to lay down, especially with water-based finishes, you don't want to lay your coats down too heavy or they start to develop that kind of a milky bluish haze. So you just do light coats, but you do them in quick succession while level sanding uh, between each coat. And uh, notice I mentioned level sanding. That's another reason why we sand between coats. As you can see, looking at this guitar, uh, where the light's reflecting off of it, you can see the surface is, is pretty rough. It's pretty coarse. And that's because of the way in, that I applied this graphic to the front of the guitar. And by the way, if you're interested in how I applied this, check out uh, episode 98 of From the Luthier's Workbench. That's where I talk about the technique I used for applying this graphic. Anyway, it produces a surface that's pretty uneven, pretty lumpy, bumpy, wrinkly. And as I apply my clear coats, those uh, simply lay down on top of that rough texture. So what I do is, when I'm sanding between coats, is I'm taking those high spots down, while the low spots are continuing to fill up with the clear polyurethane. And eventually, as I bring those um, high spots down and fill up those low spots, they, be, they, they gradually uh, level out and I end up with, usually after about 10 to 12 coats, I'll end up with a nice smooth finish. And then I can spray down two to three final coats to get that really nice smooth glossy finish. And that finish is so much easier to polish sand prior to buffing. And that's also a way that I'm able to avoid getting witness lines the less um, level polish sanding that I have to do, uh, the, the, the less of a chance of seeing those witness lines forming when I go to buff the guitar. So that's uh, this week's quick tip. Always sand between coats if you're applying a water-based type finish or anything other than nitrocellulose lacquer. So uh, until next week, take care. We'll see you soon.